Hello everybody, welcome to my web page. Glad you're here with me. Uh, this is going to be a stimulus and government update. And this is something, this is going to be a quick little video. And this is going to be about the e-grant that is hopefully going to be opening. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. If you want to support my page, my Patreon page is linked below. Now, this is basically this video is people for that owns small businesses. I mean, real, real, real small businesses of 10 employees or less and stuff like that. Um, and if you have like a little high um, hot side hustle and stuff like that, this is for you. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that good. Um, because I actually thought when they opened up the e-grant that you guys can go there, fill out the paper, um, look at the form that you need to see what category you fall in, and you can get $1,000 for each employee, up to $10,000 you can get, and this is free money that you can get. But it's not going to work that way now. So it kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to let you hear a little video of a guy that um, I watch sometimes. And he's he will explain it to you a little more better. I want you guys to hear it. And it it does kind of suck. But, you know, what what can you do? This is our government. This is the system that we're working with here. And I actually don't think it's it's a good thing. But I want you guys to hear what he has to say. EIDL grants, the IDLE grants. Uh, we're expecting to see the IDLE advanced portal open up again so people can get $1,000 per employee or possibly up to $10,000, depending on how they interpret the rules, which, you know, the SBA generally doesn't interpret the rules in our favor. They tend mm -hmm. to be a little bit more strict against and this our is what favor. they're going to do. Uh, but anyway, we know that the $10,000 EIDL grants are expected to go to people who are making uh, or have an economic decline or can prove an economic decline of 30 percent and who live in low-income communities well the sba updated their website to give us Here the latest we go. and here's, here's the bad news said. quote the sba is preparing to offer shuttered venue operator grants that's for save our stages and targeted eidl advance with limited eligibility and then the second line they updated Just the, the sba previously offered the following funding options eidl advance no longer available. Look at that. Wow. See? It sounds to me like the SBA is basically preparing to screw everybody again out of getting even the $1,000 per employee, at least based on the latest change to the SBA website. See? That's that that's so bad. These people really truly need this money to try to stay afloat and the government is still fucking them over. Still screwing them over. Where they can't even get at least one thousand dollars for each employee. Come on, and this is the this is the government money that is supposed to be going for small businesses. It's supposed to be going for small businesses. So if they are not getting this money, so why is this money even going to this this grant place for them to give out the grants? So who is actually getting this money? And ain't small businesses, as you heard. They're not getting it. They're getting the shaft. You know, they got so many hoops and hurdles that you got to go and just to go through just to get one thousand dollars. And even if you do go through those hoops and hurdles, you still might not be able to get it. Now, so how screwed up that is. You know, these people depend on this to survive, to keep their doors open pay their employees and you're still screwing them over people why why are you doing that you know and the government is giving you the money and you're still doing this wrong i don't understand this i really 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 don't understand why you are doing this to these people you know these are small businesses these are the bread and butter that is the backbone of our economy that hires hundreds and thousands of people for their restaurants, for their stores, and you're gonna go and screw them over like this. Ay, ay, ay. You know, I'm just hoping that with this new budget that's coming out, we bite in and hopefully it passes through, it goes through fast, and it pushes through, it gets done, and everybody gets their money, 
small businesses get their thing, schools, daycares, first liners get all their money and stuff like that. And of course, for the for the virus, they get their money to get those those vials with needles and the needles into arms. You know, that is the whole process of this, of why they need this money. You know, but I, I'm, right now it's like every time that I'm hearing something about the government, small businesses, it just seems like they really don't care about the small businesses. You know, they mostly care about getting money out to other places. Yes, it is good to do that. But think of what the small businesses do for our economy. You know, really and truly think about that so, so much because... It's just like economists came out from Walmart and she turned around and she says that our economy would not go back to normal to at least three to four years, like how it used to. You know, this is economy uh, economists coming from Walmart. And then we have another economist from Bloomberg that turns around and says the exact same thing. If the guys don't know, if you don't know what Bloomberg is, it, it's a news company. Um, it's a very good news company. And um, they're even saying the same thing. That the economy will not go back until at least three to four years. At least. You know. And it's it's not looking good. You know. And we need the government to step up. Get this bill passed. Get this money out to, to these people. Stop bickering. You know. Over little things if they can go and pass this bill with, uh, with 51 votes do it do it don't worry about the other party because if you start messing with the other party that other party deals with mitch mcconnell and everybody knows how i how i don't like mitch mcconnell i don't like that man because everything that that goes to his table goes his way he screws it up he starts adding stuff. He starts taking away stuff. He says, oh, people don't need this. People don't need that and everything. And then if you go and look at exactly where he's from, you wouldn't even believe that these people actually even voted for him. You know, I, I that's another thing I can't understand. I mentioned that in a lot of my other videos that I can't figure out why they even put him back in office. But this tells you a little bit about what's going on with the E-Grant. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how hard it's going to be now. So sorry guys, I'm, I just broadcast the news to you. I don't, I don't, I don't politic the news. But I hope you liked this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. And if you want to support my page, my Patreon page is linked below, guys. Thank you very much to my 86 subscribers. I'm growing, people. Very soon I'll be at that hundred. I can't wait can't wait for that 100 people so please for all you people that love watching my videos and not subscribing please subscribe to my channel i will greatly appreciate it so much if you subscribe to my channel it just makes my door open up more faster and more better for youtube to get my videos out there for people to see that's what mostly what counts is i want people to see my videos because i try to give out the best content i can and i want people to learn from it i want people to hear it you know, so more people that can do that is grateful for me. But for right now, guys, thank you very much until the next video.